Hello there, Board Game Maniacs, and thanks for joining us for another episode of Octoberween! Mm-hmm. My favorite time of the year. And we have Maniac Shelly on the channel, Maniac Brady, and myself, Except along with Otherface 2.0. He's just standing there watching, so if the anybody month, gets out of hand. You don't like the month after October, we know. It's November. Why don't November. I like... Oh, sorry. The month after that. December? Yeah. Well, I don't mind it. I'm just not a big fan of Christmas. But anyhow, let's not get into that. So, as you notice from the title of this video, we are playing none other than Elder Signs. You can see right here. And I totally forgot who made this. I think it is, yeah, it's Fantasy Flight Games. I'm almost certain that that's what it it's is. It's one of the big three. Yeah, Fantasy Flight Games. And it's been a long time since we played this game, so we're bound to probably make any rules mistakes. Hopefully not, because I did do a review onto the videos, and I also read through the rulebook again just to refresh my memory, so hopefully we won't get anything wrong. We're not playing with any expansions. This is just the basic, basic of Elder Signs that we're playing. Mind you, I do have a, a few expansions for it, but... We're choosing to play it this way. So let's go for a closer look at the board, the rooms that are in the museum, and also what characters we all pick. We'll look at the rooms in the museum first. So you can see we have a room here with a locked yellow die right from the start. Because these are all randomly drawn. And we have one with the green die that is locked right from the start. Um, and we have our otherworldly and our other rooms in the museum. We're all starting out here, just like usual. And we are playing against this character that was randomly drawn, and it is Azeroth. Absolute destruction. What a monster to get right from the random drop. If Azeroth wakes, the game is over, and the investigation loses. Huh, lovely. So if he just wakes up, we're done. And we have to get 14 Elder Signs to stop him or lock him up so he can't come out and wreak havoc onto the world. And you can see anytime you have this symbol, there's monsters that will be put on the board. So we have one, two, three, four monsters that can potentially be put on the board. And that is it. So we're going to have to draw who's going to be first player. So to do that, we take our three tokens, which are right here. Whoops. And we shuffle them up. I'll drop in your hand. And no one's going to drop one in your hand. Who goes first? Me. Okay. So it's going to be me, or Brady, myself, and then Shelly that goes. And I'm not going to explain how to play this game because there's some, tons of tutorials online. But we are playing a different house rule for this. And the house rule is that once your character, if your character does get eliminated, originally into the rule book, it does say to just draw another character to start over again. But we are not going to do that, and you keep doing it until your stack of characters has been eliminated. And you can see there's a stack of characters here. But the way we're playing it is once you die the first time, Brady and Shelly, then you're able to pick one more character, but it has to be a random character from the stack. And if you get murdered or eliminated with your second character, you are totally out of the game. And that is it. So just be aware of that. Instead of having the constant keep going through, we're keeping the video hopefully to be shorter and as well as a little more challenging because we know we only have two characters to dig from. The second one is random. All right, so Brady's going first. So let's go to the action. But before that, like I said, we're going to talk to each player and see which character they have before chosen. Before we start the game, we also have to do starting items. Yes, we'll do starting items off camera. But let's go to the character... Well, let's start with Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Hi. Thanks for being on the channel again. Oh, you're very welcome. So what character did you pick? Carolyn Fern. Carolyn Fern. A psychologist. And she's a psychologist? Yes. Okay. Okay, what else do you want me to tell What you? is her, uh, her stamina? There her you stamina go. is four, and her, uh, sanity is six. She has a special ability in psychology. Can you read that? So... People have to read it on camera. At the start of Carolyn's turn, she may restore one sanity to investigator of her choice, including herself. Nice. And um, you have two starting items, correct? Yes. So you have a gun, which is a common starting item, which I'll give you. And you also have a unique starting item, which is a sword. These were all shuffled previously. And you can flip them over and look because 
we all should know because we're not playing against each other. We're trying to play as a team. So you can add a plus yellow die to your fight or a red, but unfortunately the yellow die is locked. We have to beat this room to be able to access that yellow die. All right, so swinging over to Brady. Who did you pick, Brady? Daryl Simmons. Daryl Simmons. Photographer. He's a photographer? Yes. And what is his uh, agility, or not agility? His special ability? No. Uh, my, his stamina? My stamina is six and my sanity is four. Okay, that's what I was looking for, sanity. All right, and what is your special ability that you have? Every time I roll, if I get an investigation, if I say, it's just hard to explain that way, so I'd rather just explain it this way. If I get a one, I can change it to a two. If I get a So two, you can increase whatever it is to an extra number. An extra number. So if you needed three search and you only roll the two, you can increase as the one to give you a three. Yeah. Okay. And your starting items are going to be a common item. And a unique. And a unique. So there's your common. And a unique is the sword. And there you go. And what did you get? Okay, so I got a uh, whiskey. Okay. Which is discard this card instead of losing one sanity. And the flute of outer gods, discard after rolling to, to defeat one monster. Oh, so you can just discard it to defeat it? Yep. Oh, that's actually pretty handy. And I have Joe Diamond. He's a private eye. And he has four mind points or sanity. And he has six agility. And he has hunches as a special ability. After Joe spends a clue token, he may reroll the die a second time without spending an additional clue token. He has a common starting item and a clue token. So, clue tokens, again, just lets you reroll. And I have a, a common item, and that is going to be, ooh, a plus yellow die. But the thing is, is I cannot do that right now because the yellow die is locked. All right, that is it. So we're going to start with the action. You're going to blood on the floor. It does have some special text here. What I'm, I don't have to read it. Now, anything, any card that has an arrow, you have to do these in order. So you have to roll all the dice except for the red die, unless you have a red die that lets you. If not, you have to roll the green, and you have to get two magnifying glasses first, or two, two search tokens. Which yeah, I two. have most definitely gotten. So you put the two here, and then you got to roll again, and you have to get a three search token. And again, this all Do has to be by the way? in order. Do these lock? Because they stay, yes, they stay right sometimes there. Sometimes they don't lock. No, they stay there. That's that's your success. That's how you judge your success. I don't know. Okay, roll again. For your, you gotta get a three now. And it's all or nothing. So you get a three token, a three search, okay? So that goes there. And then roll again, and you have to get the tentacles and the skull. No. Okay, hold on, give me the skull. Now, what you could do, because you could Hold this on your card, but you still have to discard one of your die. Uh, or you don't ha you don't have to hold it, and you just get rid of one of your die and roll your two dice again. It's up to you. No, I'll hold it. Okay, so now get rid of one die, and you have to get... Yep. You did. Whoa. So you successfully did this, so you go back to the museum entrance. These dice come off. And looking closer at this, you're going to get a clue token, a common, and an elder sign. That's you what can we see need. one of the rooms have been taken out now because Brady successfully passed it. We have an elder sign which is sitting right here, so we only need 13 instead of 14 now. So we take another card. Whoops. And we flip it over like that. Oh, that was in there. Put that there on the bottom, though. There we go. All right. So this one here is. Terror loses a trophy of your... Uh, if you roll a terror, you have to lose a trophy of your choice. Now, one thing we totally forgot to do is... First player, we determined. So, Brady was supposed to do this and act upon it immediately. So, read the immediate. Which one do I pick? Do I pick one? You have to read the immediate. There doesn't say an immediate. Oh, let me see. Sorry. It could help if I looked at it. Strange sight. A moment. A monster appears. Admit stillness, no lingering effects take place. So this is the immediate, which is up top. So a monster appears. 
Where at do I choose? Yeah, so you grab it first. Again, this, this first round is going to be super detailed because it's just to try to go over the rules. So let me see this, Brady, your monster. It's a good one. So now, this is his monster that he has. Seven search, the clock will advance if he gets the search as well as a scroll. So seven search and scroll. So now you pick any one of these rooms. And when you pick them, you first have to pick one that has like the, the white border, such yeah, as this. I'm picking this one. You're going to pick that one. So because that has one, you're going to have to put it like that. So therefore, this takes over. And now we have to do this. That We have to defeat the monster because this adds to it, to that room if anybody goes into it. Um, so yes, that, that card there is finished. So give it to me. But there is, there's no lingering effects take place, so that just sits by Shelly over here. And then the clock will advance to 3 o'clock. On my turn, I'm going to take my token. I'm going to place it here with the yellow die, the gala in the Great Hall. So with this here, there's no specific order, but I have to roll them and see what happens. And if I lose, I'm going to add to the Doom track. If I win, I get this. And unfortunately, I'm going to use lose one of my mind points for that one. Uh, all right, so Brady, can you pass me all the green dice, please? Okay, so now I need one of these, and I need two magnifying glasses. Or three. Um... Yeah, that, that's losing my dice. That's a pretty bad roll, but... Use a clue. Yeah, I don't want to lose it. Yeah, I guess I could use it, because I'll get two more if... That's a good idea. So I'm going to spend my clue. I'm going to re-roll these dice. Didn't help? No. But you get three roll again. Because I know, because of my special ability. Once per turn. There, that, that's, there, that's, that's a little better. better. So okay. now I got the success for this. So if we look over here. Um, and you got a skull as well. Yep. So because I got the skull and I got this and I got the two. So I completed the first task. Now I have to get three magnifying glasses with two dice. I only got two. So that failed. So I take one away. And now I have to get three. I got to get that. If not, I fail the room. Oh boy. Here goes. I, I just, I wasn't sure if I rolled it. That's why I paused the camera to think. But I need three! No. So you failed and so it adds one to the Doom track. Because I failed, we take one of the monsters and we add it to the Doom track. So he's one closer to waking up. And then that ends my turn. This white yellow die is still locked. I'm just going to stay there. I'm not going to go back right now, so then we're on to Shelly's turn. Shelly's turn. She went to the the writing on the wall. So terror. If you roll any terror, lose one trophy of your choice. But you don't really have any trophies right now, so that's not going to affect you. So go ahead and roll your dice. And you need... Uh, a skull. A skull. Okay, so there's a skull. Uh, magnifying glass, three or five magnifying glass. You don't have, and then. But can I hold the three? You you can only hold one. Okay, but can I hold the three? It's a three. Yeah, you can hold the three instead of the skull. Yes, but you can't hold the skull too, because it's all or nothing when you roll. You have to get everything on your roll. So. So I can hold that can and hold then re-roll these. Yes, but you got to take one away from your roll. So this here is getting put there to go towards your five. So you take one of your die away. So now that is three and one is four. So that's still not good. Um, so you got... That would be five right here. And you won't be able to complete it no matter what. You're not going to be able complete to complete it. it. Yeah, so yeah, you another turn in another terror track. So and a monster you can, appears. Add a monster onto a terror track. Oh, yes. So because it goes on to that token, a monster is going to appear. 
So shuffle it, give one to Shelly, and Shelly, you can place it on any one of these that you want. I'm just gonna move these out of the way. Dad, why'd you take the one out of there? This one's still there. Oh, the greens, yeah, sorry, my bad. So you can place wherever you one want. One I forgot at the end of my turn is I have to advance the clock to five o'clock, or six o'clock. So Shelly chose to put the monster here. Now, because this was blank in the rule book, it does state that when it is a monster, the white border is completely blank, you place it there, it's going to void this one, and it replaces the task from this one to this one. So to succeed in this, you only have to do this one, not that. So when you do that one, you're gonna both get this treasure as well as the monster too as well. And the clock goes up. And the clock goes up, yeah, because of that symbol right there. Now, because we did this too as well, um, Shelly has to advance the clock to nine o'clock. No, it's my turn. And that ends like the three of us going and we continue on now. So now it is on to Brady's turn. Now, before we go any further, just no, let yeah. everybody know. Oh, you're not going to go there anymore? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, just so everybody's know, in classic board game maniac style, we're going to stop recording, start playing. When something happens, we'll be back to talk about it. I want Brady's turns. He decided to go to Did You Hear That? And it had a green die. You can see his token is here. That was locked onto it. And he had to roll three skulls because I'm just moving them so you can see the card. So therefore, Brady successfully did this. So he gets a spell. Because you can see here, he gets a spell, unique item, and one of the uh, tokens come off of the monster that you can see right there. Because this here, that's what that means. That that t uh, it's not a tentacle uh, terror symbol. That's what I'm looking for. This it comes off of that. So good job with that, Brady. So you're getting two. So these are unlocked for everybody to use now. This goes back up onto the museum entrance. This goes to you. One of these are removed, which is a good thing. And we flip over another card. And this card here is the secret gathering. It is a terror, lose one sanity. All right, so now this is six search and two two of them symbols which are like the scrolls but anyhow that was brady's turn we're on to my turn on my turn the clock went to midnight and i had to draw a mythos one so remember the first card that was drawing no lingering effects were happening which is the lingering part which is in the bottom of the card but on this one here it does say strange sights a monster appears so brady drew one ran away i found one and i placed it there that's right place, I couldn't remember we're there. So there's three monsters on the board right now. And this here is a lingering effect, which I don't like, of a poisonous trap. Uh-oh. When the clock next strikes midnight, all investigators lose two stamina. So this is something that we cannot avoid whatsoever. Anyhow, I'm going for here, I'm gonna continue on, then we'll be back if something happens. I wonder Brady's other's turn, he managed to clear another one of the cards. Can I see the card that you just cleared, Brady? Your treasure, I should say. So this is the card that he cleared, and because he cleared, he we took one off the Doom Track, and he got a clue token and an Outer World card, which is right here, the Plateau of Ling. And an Elder Sign. And he got an Elder Sign. So right now we have two Elder Signs going towards the so 14. So we need 12 more. And we need 12. And this is a really bad card. And I'm not going to explain it because if we hit it, then I will certainly explain it. So we're continuing on. On one of my turns, I managed to close this room. And I got a clue and a spell for it. And the spell that I picked up is this one right here. And it says, Dead Curse of Azeroth. And that's really cool. So two spells right there, BB. And unfortunately now the clock gets moved to midnight and we have to go by the lingering effect of this card right here. And it does say, uh, strange sights of a poisonous trap. When the clock next strikes midnight, all investigators lose to stamina. So what happens here is I'm losing two stamina.
Brady's losing two stamina. And Shelly's going to lose two stamina. There you go. But something happened with Shelly. You killed me. I didn't kill you. You did, you moved it to me. So she already she only had four stamina and she lost two, so this lose the other two. So unfortunately Shelly's character is dead. So she is going to lose her cards. So mean. Yeah. But because of that, now Shelly, you are not completely dead. You just have to randomly draw one. And after she does that, instead of her we'll be back. Shelly drew a random character, and this is her last character she's gonna get. And who did you draw? Michael McLenn, the gangster. He's the gangster? Gangster. 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 Alright, and what is his, uh, his... Ability? Stamina, and... Three and seven. Three for mind, and seven for stamina? Yep. Alright, and on top of that, he you had... a strong body. Okay. Once per roll, Michael may change a die showing uh, whatever this thing is. Okay, the tentacles, which is the terror. To that. To a skull. Okay. And on top of that, you get two starting items. And I got a shotgun. Ooh. Discard after rolling a, to change one die to a skull. Okay. And then I got an extra. I got the red an extra die. red die one. All right, that's not too bad. So then, that is it for Shelly to go, so... We also have to draw a new clock card. Yes, we got to draw a new clock card now. The stars align. Add a Doom token to the Doom Tracker. Oh, another monster appears. Is that it? To bring forth horrors. When the clock next strikes midnight, a monster appears. Oh, so a monster appears now, and then when it goes to midnight again, another monster appears. Lovely. Yeah, so that will be on somebody's turn. Yeah. Well, so right now, this is the monster that we drew. I don't know what it is. There's stuff in the back, but we don't look at it until It can we... only go here. Yeah, because it is the only one that has the white, so unfortunately, it goes there. Oh, all right, and then we're on to your turn, Shelly. I'm on Shelly's turn. She decided to stay there to receive first aid. So her action is including to receive one stamina or one mind point, which is sanity, for free. So she chose that and got one mind point left. Or not left, she got one extra mind point, which, because she was down to two from three, but she got the other one for free. So now Bless she's back you. up to three. You can't exceed mm. what your stamina is or your mind points. You can only get that amount, and that is it. So we're continuing on with Brady's turn. I'm on Brady's turn. He decided to stay, and he sold his trophies at equal how many points? Four. Four. And he's able to heal fully. So yeah. he's all back to full mind points as well as stamina. Wait, the clock hit midnight on another turn here, and unfortunately... We had to each lose a clue token if we had one, but nobody had one, so it was a fortunate thing. Um, on one of Brady's turn, he got another one of the Outer Worldly Rooms. And I would say I'll go there because it's easy to get. And unfortunately, I lost because I lost one of my sanity. And I'm almost dead, and Shelly is very close to dying too. You have what left? I got one. On my second player, I'll be completely dead. There is no coming back from this. No. Okay, so what's the card you just pulled because we hit It says, card? add a doom token to the doom tracker. So another monster spawns. Okay. Oh. And so before reason fails, adventure cards with arrows may have their task completed in any order today. Oh, that's not bad because we have one up that's here. We have another one there. So that was a card that kind of worked in our benefit and Brady had to draw another monster so it can go here and That's not bad at all. Oh, it's only two. So when it's blank like that, like stated before, everything else is void on the card and this is the new task I have to do. So it's only two. I stay there. That's me, right? Is that me? Yes, that would be oh, you. I'll stay there. Okay, but whose turn is it now? Yours. Mine. Oh yes, okay. So we'll continue on. On Shelly's turn, now, we strongly advise her to go back to the entrance so that she can use first aid and get another uh, mind point sanity back because she only has one sanity back, but she's like, nope, I'm staying here, I'm going to try this. 
Because remember, these are void. This is the only thing. So all she needs to do is complete is that and roll complete the other ones. And get a two uh, magnifying glass. She did. Which is right there. So this. So you the, get this monster. You get those dice back. Ooh, I get them. Back. And you get to try and, this again. And you get to try that. So, right. well, so yeah. maybe you need to get a tentacle, a skull, and two scrolls. I got a tentacle. Okay, so the tentacle's there. Are you gonna hold a skull? I'm gonna hold a. Skull. You put it on your token. Yeah. And then you have to get rid of one of your die. Then you need two. Two scrolls. Many people have tried this room and failed. So get rid of one. Now, if you don't roll the scroll, I did. Scrolls, scrolls. You're done. I did. And I did. You're done. <laughs> so Shelly, this is your character number two that has died. So unfortunately, you are out of the game. Bye. We are on the middle. Well, actually, in the middle of Brady's turn, and he picked a really hard card. You can see there's nine magnifying glass and one scroll, and he gets two clues if he wins. Now he already rolled these. And he just spent how many clue tokens for rerolls, Brady? Four. Four. And nope, I three. just spent another one. Yeah. So now he just needs to get a scroll and he's down to two dice left. Nope. So you get rid of one. Uh, and then you you still got one more roll because you got one more die left. Okay. You can't put a spell on the card because you didn't already at the beginning of your turn. So you, you know you got the red and the red and yellow there too, right? Yeah. Which you could spend at any time. So you're going to spend. He's spending this common item to add that. No, of course. Okay, so you get rid of one and keep going. Wait before you roll the throw, get rid of that green one. Make sure that the red or the yellow has a a scroll on it. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay, you're fine then. Maybe you get a while, which would be great. Oh, you got it! I got two scrolls. Okay, so he closed this one out and after get, a huge battle. I get two clues out of those three You get two spent. clues, but you... And this card is only worth one treasure. Ugh. The clock has struck midnight. So now we draw another Mythos card, I think it's called. A warning, there is no media effect, which is good of living nightmares. When the clock next strikes midnight, two monsters appear. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. So, we're continuing on now, but remember, next time it goes to midnight, it's two monsters that are coming on the board. On my turn, I managed to clear a card that was here and put another Elder Sign. So, just so everybody's on the same track, we have seven out of the 14, so we're doing pretty good. And this one's placed, and the reason why I had to start recording this one is because this has a special condition. At midnight, each investigator must spend two trophies or lose one sanity and one stamina. So be, oh boy, oh boy. So if we don't get rid of this card, when you have a card that comes up and says at midnight, it's a good idea to wipe them out as quick as possible because there's very bad effects. And this don't happen just once. If we don't get rid of it before midnight, this is going to happen. And then if we don't get rid of it for next midnight, it will happen again. So you have to make sure you clear it as much as possible. You know, I turned the camera on because it is Brady's turn, but you can see there's a lot more cards. Because what we managed to do is we actually got two more otherworldly because I had a card that if I discard it, you get I get another otherworldly. And by beating one... That I previously bet I was able to put another other word. It's beat, not bet. Beat, or whatever. But anyhow, now we have an elder sign here, an elder sign here, and two elder signs right there because we are right now at eight. This will give us ten. So Brady's going to go here to try and do this. But this is when this card is drawn, two monsters appear and are placed on this. Oh, card. I didn't know that. <laughs> I know. I just read the subtext. So you got to grab two monsters and put them there. That makes things difficult, but because two monsters are there and they're fully white, then this is void, and all you gotta do is beat the two monsters. And I also have to beat that when I beat the two monsters. Oh, and look, the yellow die is locked. Oh, well, I might as well try. Yeah, you might as well. Okay, Brady. Do it. Skull and Terror, first monster is defeated. Skull and terror, and, and use sanity. one mind point or sanity. There you go. All right, 
Next one is uh, four search. Four magnifying glasses to unlock that yellow die. I did it. Because you got... But you can use your ability and just do only use one. There's no four on this die. I can only do it if there's an actual four Oh, really? Die. And plus I get those dice back anyway. After I defeat the monster. Okay, so there you go. So now this is back unlocked. And now, if you want to finish this off, you need a skull and two scrolls. I'll save this skull from that roll. I did get a skull. Okay, because... Of this. He's putting on it because he casts a spell. I'm saving this on my character. Okay, so you get rid of one. Now all you need is another scroll. Got it. Woo! So it's beaten. We got two more. Nice. Good job. And two doom tracks. Two dooms go off. So now the monster is sleeping a lot. We had to draw more cards and it hit midnight. So because it hit midnight, the Extenuating circumstances on the card comes into effect and at midnight two more monsters appear we did and you can see the havoc that have happened two green dice are locked now and Also a red dice is locked here. So this is really bad It's reducing our chances and we're so close to winning because right now we have ten two four six eight ten We need four more elder signs and I did win. most of the elder signs work too. I got all the cards with elder signs Sure one two three Four. Okay. Five, six. So, but we have one here that has two elder signs, and then we have one that has an elder sign and elder sign. I'm thinking we're going to have to try to tackle this one yep. and those ones. So we'll be back. Hopefully, hopefully, it's not going to take you have too to draw long. a new clock card first. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah. Might as well do it before I cut. So it is midnight. So new tr clock card. New monster. And it says... A winding trail. Add a doom token to the doom track unless at least one investigator has a clue token. I do. So, so we won't add nothing nope. to the doom track. So then to bring forth the horrors when the clock next strikes midnight, a monster appears. I managed to roll the terror die to unlock defeating the monster. So therefore we got our green dice back, but on the back of this it does have a little tiny bit of subtext. The bloated woman, the air reeked of her decaying flesh. Return this marker to the cup. So that one has to go to the cup. Yeah. And I'm just going to continue on, I guess. On Brady's turn, he decides to attack the hidden passage. And it was a couple of things that was challenging. Number one was it was an arrow, so he had to do it in order. He got his three, then he's got a skull in his three, and then he's got his scroll. By the way. So he's got two elder signs to go into the pot now. Just to let you know, we went on our turn, on my turn. Because we completed that card, and now I have 20, so I can spend two to get two more elder signs. And we just got two. Oh, hold on a second. What do we... Because that's 12 now. That's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So yeah, we need 20 points. And I have 20 points now. Until so total... Up first, count them all for me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So with you... that card, I have twenty-one. Oh, with this card, that's right, because I didn't take it off. I was like, how did you? So that's two right there. So yes, that goes. And we put our two elder signs. You ready to put those two up there? No, for selling your, uh, for selling your treasure. Forget. I have to wait until my turn. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Anyhow, so we got to replenish this one. You grab the one. The Ancient Relic. All right. So this is going to be the last round. On my turn, I'm just playing it safe because the game's over anyhow, really. I'm staying here and I am receiving first aid, which my action is I just get one sanity back, which brings me back to full sanity. And it's on the Brady's turn, and Brady. Uh, I don't know. I might just go and complete one more card for good measure. I don't know. I mean, I might. Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. Where's my token? Your token is right there. I'm gonna go to... No, I'm kidding. We'll sell. So you're selling them to get the other two Elder Signs. That will bring us to 14, because you can see over there we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and then Brady is selling 20 points, or it's what you bring two more, and that will bring us to 14, and we put Azeroth back to slumber. 
And there you have it, Board Game Maniacs. That ends this episode of October Ween, where we played Elder Signs by Fantasy Flight Games. We unfortunately did lose two members of our party. Well, technically only one. Well, she played two characters. So, Shelly's two characters are gone. That's why the seat is empty right now, because she had been killed by the events that happened into this scary, creepy museum full of mystic I guess I found out death. something. That Daryl Simmons is a very MVP. Yeah, he, he did a lot of work this this game, I have I to agree. Be, I, I think he contributed to over half the Elder Signs. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know... He's saying that you're not... If I had a penny for every time you bragged that you won a game, I'd be a rich man right now. Yeah, you want to know why? Because you brag whenever you win a game. So no, I don't. Fair. Yes, I win? Do. Okay, great. No, you definitely <laughs> do. Off camera, you brag I do all not brag, and I'm only picking yes, on you. Yes, you do. I'm only picking. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this game of Elder Signs. Like I said, it's been a while since Brady, Shelly, and myself have played this game. We may potentially have made some rules mistakes. We tried to follow the rules as close as possible. When we were questioning something, we'd look in the rule book. So, if we did, comment down below, timestamp the video where we made a mistake, and let us know what page number it's on, and what we did wrong when we should have did, done whatever for right. Because that way it's a learning experience, it's enjoyable watching it, but it's also a learning experience for anybody else who wants to purchase the game to play it, or bought the game and wants to learn how to play it, or just refresh the rules. In either case, it's good to comment and do like that with the timestamping and everything. And just saying, the news reporter, Daryl Simmons, kind of looks like the news reporter from Dead Rising. Oh, I actually remember that game. Yeah, look. It looks a lot like him with the camera he holds up and everything. Yeah, but he didn't have that kind of camera. That's yes, like he a did. 1940s camera. He definitely had that type of camera. I thought he had just a normal, like, no, SLR. He had, like, the... It didn't look... It was like a, one of the... It was a newer camera, but it had the exact... Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, what? What was that other face? Two play doll? What? Not gonna say anything, eh? Yeah, you're angry because you know why? Because we beat the museum and we live on and we do not go into the darkness quietly in our total ween. But just to let you know something there, other face 2.0, I am the darkness. That's right. Ha <laughs> ha! So remember one important thing, and that is when you play games. Don't! Don't! And that is. Beer Maniac! We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Don't be as crazy as my father talking to his mannequins. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to keep up to date with Board Game Maniacs, click on the like and subscribe button to be notified when more videos come available. If you want to become an official sponsor of Board Game Maniacs, go to patreon.com slash board game maniacs. Or you can go to streamlabs.com slash board game maniacs one. That's right, and you can donate to help keep the lights on, keep food in our bellies, and play more games. We'll purchase more games, more equipment to make Board Game Maniacs evolve and get bigger and larger because of you, the viewers. I thank you from the bottom of my toes to the top of my head for all of your support. And until next time, Board Game Maniacs, be a maniac.